Just moving to a different area, going to be looking for a wapiti this afternoon. And a wapiti basically in the U.S. is an elk, but a wapiti here. So this area's got a bunch of them in it, so we're going to get up high glass, see what we can't see this afternoon. Weather looks about perfect. So yeah, four hours left in the afternoon. Just like anything, they're probably going to start moving that last two hours, get up and feed. It's going to rain, Sean. Good luck, guys. So we can glass both ways. So like literally you can just crest over this ridge mm -hmm. and there's two big valleys this side and we'll glass all the stuff to the right of us. Okay. So we'll do that. See if we can find. Mm. All good? Yep. But what we'll do is we'll probably go around this mountain range, see if we can't find anything else, and then if we can't, we'll go down and have a closer look at them and make okay. a plan. When you say around this, are we going further that way? Or just nah, we'll, we'll probably just go further up this ridge, go to a few glassing points, have a look around, and if we find something that we want to go after, then we'll kind of stalk it from there. Okay. Um, and uh, it's basically how we do most of our hunting. We'll go to high points, glass, big areas, big valleys, big catchments. And then if something comes out that we want to go after, we'll stalk it from there okay. a lot of the time. Yep. Fella. Over 500. He's got a lot going on. Mark, we've got a pretty good bull down here, mate. It's not too bad. Hang on, let's have a look. Yeah, he's pretty good, man. He's definitely worth looking, getting a closer look at for sure. Oh, yeah. Looks like a great bull. Yeah, definitely worth having a closer look at for sure. 
How do you want to work down there? We'll probably just end up going down this ridge, probably three quarters of the way down, and then we can kind of walk around to the left side of the ridge. Okay. And we'll be looking straight down, and okay. probably no further than two, 250 yards. Okay. Then we can get a real good look at him and gauge how big he is. Both of them hit, right? Yeah. He did. Man. That was pretty awesome. He stood there, but where he hopped up, his vitals were covered. And I think he had us pinpointed, so he took off, but he popped through that clearing over there. Made a good shot at him. I think he's he's down right there. That is a heck of a bull. He just took that first one. Just Oh, they suck it up. I mean, he didn't even move. I was like, did I miss? <laughs> like, I was saying my plan probably backfired. He's probably stuck right between two trees now. Oh yeah, he's upside down in the trees. Yeah. Absolute giant wapiti here in New Zealand. What a way to recap today is with this big guy right here. I mean, just, 
I can't, I'm in awe of how big it is, even up in close in person. There's a lot of times where you're hunting and you get to it and there's a little ground shrinkage. There is zero ground shrinkage with this giant.